good afternoon everyone today's topic is about the interrelation between disaster and development and the impacts of the de- development projects on uh, dams changes in the land and so on so let's see about the disaster and development what is means so they are disaster and development are uh, closely linked and they both have some components that disaster and uh, destroy development in shit and the development creates the development opportunities so that the development schemes can both increase and decrease the vulnerability rate and uh, it has the common development goals that it the leaders have to adjust their policies priorities and uh, rearrange valuable resources to deal with the the disaster and the development occurrences so there that is that is the consequences and may produce several negative impacts on economic and social factors and communities and disrupt the planned development and the both disaster also so the interrelationship between disaster and development so the the, inter, the the relationship between development and disaster has the four basic themes that is it set back development programmings and the destroying years of development initiatives that it takes so long for the when a disaster is occurred it takes lo- so long for the development initiatives and the opportunities to create and uh, rebuilding after that the opportunities the development programs the rebuilding after a disaster the initiate development programs then third one is the development programs can increase an area's susceptibility to disasters and the fourth one is the development programs can be designed to decrease the susceptibility of to disasters and their negative conse- consequences like uh, if the damage the uh, disaster occurred in a damage which is high high mortality rate or a low rate high rate and low rate that is uh, it is like a severe damage and a low damage on severe damage the the, the significant design of development can be occurred and the low like both how the design designed on the susceptibility to development agree so the projects cannot be designed by one a signal uh, a individual or not a community uh, they can be a, it, it can be a group of members who decide on the development policies and programs so vulnerability in this context it is defined as a diminished capacity of an individual or a group with cope up to resist and recover from impact of natural and man made disaster so there are there are four factors affecting vulnerability that is physical factors social factors and economic factors and last one is the environmental factors these four points are the affecting factors of the vulnerability so let's see about the impact of development projects so it is the relationship between environment and a successful development which is economic development gaining on both global recognition the realization of the significance pretending that the environmental impact assessment is basically converted with plans projects and other programs and policies so the i e i a that is the environment impact assessment concerned with development projects while there is un- underground any land res- land and use of sectoral plans it implements such plans uh, identification and uh, assessment of environmental impacts also included in the i e a so let's see about the impact of projects in dams so what is a dam is a dam is a barrier or crossing flowing water that obstructs directs or retards the flow often creating a reservoir a lake or a, or impoundments so why do we build dam the for that to improve the quality of human life by providing and hydro pro, hydro power a recreation uh, to control the flood so the the main the countries generally get to share as they increase their use of modern 
energy also so the mentioned effect and the so- solution have taken into account in environmental impact assessment that is the eia concept it takes like as the previous i said the, the individual policies will be made on the impact of dam also so let's see about the impact of embankments so the embankments it is the ancient form of civil engineering structures and it is still among it is relevant in now nowadays also so it is it is guaranteed since failure of embank- embankments and it is a serious consequences may vary significantly in a little in size also so the impact of changes in land use that it is increasingly a provision of economic and natural ecosystem it is balanced imbalanced in the provision and it is used of in, and it is it is its effect is in, in the changing in the lands of ecosystem provide services and their economic value so these changes it is a most persuasive socio economic force driving changes and the degradation of the ecosystems